When we listened to today's lectionary reading from John chapter 17, we got to hear Jesus pray for us. We know Jesus is praying for us because he says so. In verse 20, Jesus prays, I ask on behalf of those who will have faith because of what my followers say about me. That's us. That's us and everyone who has faith after hearing the good news of Jesus. So Jesus is praying for us. What is Jesus praying for on our behalf? That's a good question, but before we look at that question, let's look at the big picture of where we are in the gospel story. Jesus says this prayer at the Last Supper. Jesus and his disciples are in Jerusalem and they're sharing their last meal together before Jesus is betrayed and arrested. In John's Gospel, the conversation at the Last Supper starts with Jesus washing his disciples' feet and it ends with the prayer we just heard from chapter 17 in John. Eugene Peterson writes about this in his book titled, this is a long title, it's titled, Christ Plays in 10,000 Places, A Conversation in Spiritual Theology. So that long titled book, uh, in that book, Peterson notes that there's a message that Jesus repeats over and over at the Last Supper, and that message is that Jesus is leaving and the Holy Spirit is coming. Jesus is having a conversation with his disciples and he repeats that message in several different ways. For example, at one point Jesus says, I've been with you, the Spirit will be with you. And later Jesus says, I am teaching you, the Spirit will teach you and remind you. By repeating this message, that Jesus is leaving and the Holy Spirit is coming, it drives home the message for us that Jesus' life and work is continued in our life and work. The Gospel of John drives that home for us, that what the Holy Spirit does in us and through us is a continuation of what Jesus said and did among the disciples in their community. Peterson writes, quote, The Holy Spirit, God's way of being present with us, will make our life and work continuous with Jesus' life and work. End quote. So after their supper, Jesus says this prayer, just like we might say a closing prayer after a meal or, or at the end of a church meeting. Jesus prays for the disciples who are there, And, this is important, Jesus prays for us. So what is Jesus praying for on our behalf? Well, Eugene Peterson again detects this message that Jesus is leaving, the Holy Spirit is coming. For example, Jesus prays, Father, we are one, may they be one. And, you love me, May your love be in them. And Jesus prays, You sent me into the world. I send them into the world. So here when Jesus is praying and he says they or them, that includes us. So I'd like to read those same three messages again. But this time, instead of saying they or them, I'm going to say St. Paul's. Let's see if... If that lets us hear a little better that Jesus is praying for us. Here goes. Jesus prays, Father, we are one. May St. Paul's be one. And you love me. May your love be in St. Paul's. And Jesus prays, you sent me into the world. I send St. Paul's into the world. Jesus is preparing his disciples that he is leaving 
and the Holy Spirit is coming. And this teaches us that what the Holy Spirit is doing through St. Paul's Church in our community is a continuation of everything Jesus said and did among his disciples in their community. When Jesus prays for us, what does he pray for? He prays that we may be one, that God's love may be in us, and he sends us into the world to carry on his mission. This is beginning to remind me of a song I remember singing in, at church camp as a youth. We are one in the spirit. We will work with each other. Anyone want to guess what song I'm <laughs> talking about? <laughs> uh, they will know we are Christians by our love. So uh, James and Dottie, would it be okay if we ended with that song? Okay. So we'll end with that song. Take it away. Please, please sing along. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. Can you say that our unity will one day be restored? They'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. And together we'll spread the word that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. And we'll guard each one's dignity and save each one's and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. All praise to the Father from the Lord on His mouth. And all praise to Christ Jesus, the only Son. And all praise to the Spirit and the Maker as one. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our Continuing on the bottom of page 5, let us all stand and affirm our faith through the words of the Nicene Creed. <clears throat> 